Today, I'm going to be turning the new castle bunk bed into a house in Bloxburg. Don't ask how I'm going to do this because I don't know either yet. <laughs> so Bloxburg recently added this royal kids castle bunk bed and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Like, come on, who doesn't want to have a bed on top of a castle? She said royal moment. Okay, yeah, I should probably get to building. <laughs> I saw that Bramp literally just posted building a house inside of the royal bed and I thought this was genius so I had to try it myself. Also, I just noticed I'm literally the size of the mailbox. Did I shrink? I have to first plan out how we're going to do this. Since the bed is already up here, this is probably going to be the bedroom. But I also need a living room, a kitchen, and the bathroom. I think I might be using some custom shape. We're not even three minutes into the build yet. <laughs> There we go. This is why I love custom shape. But wait, I just realized because I added the custom shape, I can't add a little window in here. Okay, we're gonna make this work. Look at us big braining this. That kind of looks like a window, right? There we go. Our beautiful DIY window. And plus, you get some natural lighting from the outside. So my idea is that I'm going to make a custom shape here. I know it looks kind of strange right now. Yeah! Yeah! But trust the process. That, that's going to be our biggest motivation right now. You kind of get what I'm going for? Me either. It's kind of like a roof of a house. I feel like Bob the Builder doing this. By adding these custom shapes, I'm hoping that I can make the entrance or, well, the shape on top of here look less awkward and look more like curtains. Wait, I just got an idea. If I add a custom shape to this side, it could look like a wall. And then I could maybe add a small window here. Slowly, all these custom shapes are making me go crazy, but I made a little opening, so I guess that's a success. Now what I have to do is use these wooden beams. Why is this wooden beam not want to go straight? It's slanted. Come on, wooden beam. We can talk about this. It just wants to make my life harder, doesn't it? What if we go this way? Of course, it doesn't want to... Perfect. There we go. This is our gorgeous window to the outside world. Why does it sound like I've never gone outside? <laughs> I just realized I should probably color this. What if I go with a basic white and then maybe a pink? Like, come on, you can't tell me that doesn't look royal. Now for the roofing, do I still stick with the white to go like that? Oh, I think that looks like a perfect color. Now we just actually have to start building the house of this. That's gonna be the most difficult part. I'm thinking of this having to be the living room. And then there is a little space down here. It's very minimal, but I think I could fit a shower or something. It doesn't even fit. Oh, <gasps> it fits perfectly. Oh my goodness, this is better than I expected. Let's see what type of toilets we have. We have this mighty flush one, and we also have the pro flush one but those literally take up the whole entire space on the wall i don't know how this is gonna work unless i have my toilet going through the wall and make this a part of the living room what if i put the toilet over here in this corner and then i grab the shower and the shower is going to be right next to it right there this way when you walk in there's actually space to pass by and you have your shower and then your toilet i know there's no sink but we'll have a sink in the kitchen <gasps> oh wait i totally forgot i need a kitchen <laughs> Where am I gonna have enough space for all of this? Let me just place down a flooring for this whole house. At least we have something started. Now, do we have any comfort things that will fit in here for like a living room? I mean, we have the kids' bean bags because I don't think any... Oh, actually, it does fit in here. What I'm gonna do is put a little bean bag here and then we need like a counter for a kitchen because I totally did not forget about the kitchen. It's so hard to like actually see what I'm doing. I feel like I'm building a little toddler house. I'm gonna place my counter here. I think it goes into my bathroom. Um, I didn't really think this through. Wait, actually, why need an actual counter when we can use custom shapes for it? Yes, I'm gonna put myself through the pain of making a counter. I think this can work. The moment of truth doesn't actually fit. <gasps> it does! Let's ignore the toilet sticking yeah, out of our counter. Yeah. We just need a fridge now. But one of these fridges are not gonna fit in my build it is literally the size of the whole entire house instead i'm going to get a mini fridge and we're just gonna place it up here to cover the toilet look at us go i do need a sink though and how are we gonna fit a sink in here guys i don't know how to do this to make me feel better you should definitely subscribe please <laughs> 
I just moved my kitchen outside for now because I think I might have an idea that will work. So for this idea, we need a cube. Now, please tell me it works. Why can't I see anything I'm doing? This is too claustrophobic for me. The sink actually fit in here. There's no counter space, but there's a sink. That can work, right? Good, okay. <laughs> and for a table, since I can't fit one in here, I think I'm gonna customize one and use the cylindrical shape. There we go. Literally right in front of the window and everything. Look how fancy that looks, even with a marble on top. She said, on a budget, but chic. I'm also going to put this castle on top of here. And it literally looks like a miniature version of our castle. Look at it. In a way, I don't want to fill up this wall with just the TV. So instead, I think I'm going to add like a customizable bookcase. Why is it not functioning with me? Uh, Mr. Shelf, you're getting on my nerves and I'm literally just trying to... Okay, whatever. We're just going to pretend that gap isn't there. Oh my goodness, that gap is bothering me though. What if we extend this wall? Oh, really? It was that simple this whole time. That wasn't too bad. I say as I was just yelling at a shelf for not working. Anyways, we do need some plants up in here. This wouldn't be a build made by Panda without plants. If only I could see what I was doing. Hello? Let's ignore that the plant literally goes inside of the floor. Something I think I'm missing is a metal wire board filled with princesses crowns and positive quotes there is our living room slash kitchen area so that's two rooms down we also have the bathroom in here which i have to color real quick totally didn't forget about that and what else we need are some towels we also do need the toilet paper because you don't want to be using a towel and toilet paper for the same thing I don't know where that came from, but at least I remembered that I need toilet paper. Just in case you forget, the toilet paper is breathing on you. So we also need one more thing, which is a mirror. I don't know if we'll be able to fit this well, but we'll have the mirror right on top of the toilet paper as if there wasn't very little space already. <laughs> to make the mirror look a little bit better than it does right now, I'm gonna add some wooden beams around it because this is a royal castle house. We do have to go the extra mile for it. Call me Bob the Builder or something. This is turning out actually pretty good. <laughs> Now we have to decorate the bedroom because I mean, I do have a bed already, but it's not a bedroom. It's just a bed. To start off, we do need some pillows. Please tell me I could put the pillows on the bed. <gasps> I can. Do you think that's enough pillows? I feel like I may have gone a little bit slightly overboard. We are also missing something which is heavily important. We need a blanket, but the only thing is it's not allowing me to place the blanket. blanket you and me are going to have a discussion after this build but don't worry it will still make it work by placing it on one of these custom shapes and use my favorite tool which is the transform tool what would i ever do without the transform tool probably cry but regardless at least it's there now this screams royal i could also have like a little carpet over here but i can't place the carpet so actually to be able to place it i need to place this custom shape oh my goodness wait i actually like that purple color on it and then i could put this little carpet that's a heart she's really slaying with that she really is oh wait there is one thing i'm missing and that is a dresser it's either this one or we could use this one this one i think fits better because it kind of goes inside of the bed but it disguises itself and then are there any small chairs i mean we have this modern kids chair we'll make it work i'm gonna add it up here i'm gonna place this diary down and then i'm going to get a cup of pencils and you know what to make this look even more fancier than it actually is that sounds so bad i'm gonna put down a placemat i know it kind of goes off of the sides over here but we're gonna pretend that doesn't happen and i was gonna say i could put a jewelry thing there but that doesn't really fit unless i put it here actually i mean hey it's better than not having one right oh my god this is actually working out somewhat kind of <laughs> not really but we're getting there now i do want a curtain for here but i don't know how i'm gonna do that and i think the only way i could do that is by using a custom shape and then using one of these transparent decals i'm not sure if you're able to walk through that so let me just test that real quick please no what it doesn't oh it's because the shape is right there okay i might have a better idea i just searched up curtains and this is the only thing that kind of looks good oh <gasps> why does that actually fit better than i thought it would wait 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 we can fix this this now i could have two curtains on two sides i mean the best thing i could think of is literally just keep the cube there let me check if i can actually walk through this it's the moment of truth please okay as long as i go through the decal itself and not through the middle i can actually it works i was
was determined because look how good the decals make this look. Also, I just realized my shower is literally going up onto the top floor, but it kind of looks like a handle for the slide. So at least we can let it slide. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a slide and we're letting it... Okay. The only thing I don't like is this roof. I think I have the perfect idea of what could go there. You know those little plain arches like this one? Does that look more like a house? Does that or does this? I could add a small square beam to like outline it. Now it actually looks like it has a roofing. Wait, I just realized I could color these curtains if I wanted to. But something about the white just it just screams perfection. So I think I'm gonna leave that. Let's be real. All of us girls growing up always wanted a bed that looked like this. So while building this, I'm literally living my two-year-old self's dream and making it a whole house. <laughs> and now we are missing one of the most important things, which are some fairy lights inside of here. What if I put fairy lights across the whole entire ceiling like this? Now that just made it look so pretty and cozy. And just because this space is empty, I'm gonna add one of these royal knights stands in the corner and maybe put down a jewelry box oh my goodness and you know what's inside of every castle a little fluffy unicorn so of course we have to add it in here over here is quite bare still and this is part of the house so we have to do something that fits we're gonna need some of these books because the castle is like out of a fairy tale we could also add a little star pillow and resize it to make sure it's seen <gasps> that's so cute oh my goodness and then we'll have a little sword out here for the knight in shining armor that saves the princess in her princess castle bed not me making a whole fairy tale out of this what if i add another wall here and have an extension to the bathroom because to be fair that is part of the house had i known that i was gonna add a little space over here i would have made the bathroom a lot more spacious so at least i could add a door now that i have this little room i think it's only fitting to try and make this look like it's a part of the castle i don't know how good this is but it's something at least let's try it out <laughs> Wait, it doesn't look too bad. And there we go. A Walmart version of a tower on the castle. I mean, these obviously look 10 times better than my attempt, but we're gonna, we're gonna let it slide. I'm sorry, I have to stop making a slide joke. <laughs> Since I also have a little bit of space here, what if we just add a chandelier? I know there's no reason to add it at all, but I'm extra and it fits, so I'm still gonna add it. Okay, and I think that completes our house. Now, before we take a look at it, I think I need to rename this plot into something that fits this build the most royal royalist house of royals in Bloxburg. I think that's very fitting. <laughs> now I will always know what this plot is. And it's actually $38,000. That's quite expensive for just a bunk bed house. Once you come up to it, here is the entrance of our lovely home. The knight in shining armor could use this sword to hit all the evil. When we go through here, we are welcomed by this poster of Disney princesses and also one that says princess in this royal castle house. Of course, you are a princess. Here is our living room space with a DIY coffee table. And then here is our very cramped, and I mean very cramped kitchen. At least we have a sink, a fridge, and also somewhat of a counter space. Ignore that that isn't colored. It could get all your needs done. Like if you're hungry, you could take a quick meal and just eat a carrot whenever you feel like it nom 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 why do i eat the carrot like that oh my goodness and then if you go up these stairs you could sit at your desk and write in your diary and then here is the royal bed with lots of pillows we also have a unicorn our nightstand a fairy tale book and a jewelry box now it is the ultimate test if i'm able to actually fit through this oh i can and then when you want to go downstairs um why am i just sitting in space oh i kind of went down the slide i don't know why i kind of just stopped in midair but you could jump and go down the slide there we go if you need the bathroom don't worry this house has everything you need you go through here and then here is the bathroom which you can actually fit through we have the toilet and we also have a functional shower which actually gets your hygiene needs oh I'm, I'm washing my legs oh yeah girl get some toes and then you could just wipe your feet on this bath mat once you are done with your shower i'm quite surprised with the outcome of this make sure to subscribe and comment what challenge you want me to do next